most welcome. Yeah, it's Henry the Computer Guy, and uh, this is our first video about the introduction to databases. Actually, this video is going to be focusing on databases, the use of a database, and the DBMS, that is the database management system. So now, before we dive into the real practice, we have to first of all get an understanding of what databases are. So let me pose a question to you. What is a database? So if I'm to answer this, a database is a collection of uh, data organized in a way that allows access, uh, retrieval, uh, modification, deletion, and also the use of that data. So basically a database is like a collection of data or any pieces of information. If we are to look at uh, our database down here, a database is like a container. It is going to be allowing us to access the data inside that container, allow us to open the data inside that container, allow us to modify uh, information in that container, allow us to even delete information from that container, and also be able to use the data in that container. So that is specifically what we can call a database. So now, what are some of the uses of a database? Databases are used for storing, maintaining, and accessing any sorts of data, i.e. this can be people, places, or any other thing that you can think of. So when we get an example, for example, we have a YouTube and Facebook. Let's talk about these two apps. YouTube has a database. Remember, I always upload these videos on YouTube. Where are they stored? They are stored in a location called a database. So it allows me to either delete the video I've uploaded, it can allow me to modify the video I've uploaded and give it names, open it whenever I feel I want. So uh, YouTube specifically has a place where these videos are stored and that is called a database. Now when we talk about Facebook, Facebook allows you to upload photos, videos, change your names, account deletion, and many other things that you can do there. Where do you think that information is stored? And as you're opening up an account, they will require you to put in some information, for example, the first name, uh, the last name, uh, valid email address, the password, the gender, the birth date. Where do you think that information is stored? It is stored in a location called a database. So it will allow you to access that information uh, modify it, delete it at any time that you feel you want. So that is what we call a data, a database. It's like going to act like a container where you can put an item, you can erase, remove it from that container. So it is basically a collection of data or pieces of information. So now, having talked about a database, let's also take a second and talk about what we call a DBMS which is the database management uh, system. This is specifically a software that allows access, modification, deletion, and manages a database. In other words, it is going to help us to manage and control access to our database. Some of the examples of uh, DBMSs, we can have Microsoft Access, and this is what we are going to be using practically in our videos. We have MySQL, we can have Oracle, we can have FoxPro, and others. So, in other words, it will allow us to define, create, manipulate, and control access to our database. Some of the advantages of a DBMS can include uh, data security, whereby it maintains security of our data. We always enter there. For example, no one can access your account without their password or without your password. Another one can be the mobility, not only being limited to one device. We can use different devices to access information from a database. For example, if you want to access your account, you can use, a, let's say, a phone, you can use a tablet, you can use a computer at any time that you feel you want. It will also help us to reduce a data redundancy that is going to be the duplication of data. Due to the use of primary keys, it limits uh, data redundancy. And lastly, we can talk about the enhanced data integrity. Because no one has access to your information, your data is going to be intact. 
no one is going to be tampering with your data. That is specifically uh, what we had to talk about in this video. Uh, thank you for being such a good audience. And if you're new to my channel, please help me and click the subscribe button. Bye-bye. Uh, I sign out. See you in the next video.